Hillary Clinton is hunkered down in New York, preparing not for Hurricane Matthew, but for another force of nature, perhaps, Donald Trump. Another debate coming. She's cramming, we're told, prepping for their debate Sunday. Fox News correspondent Jennifer Griffin is outside the home in Chappaqua, New York. Facing criticism that her campaign was capitalizing off the coming storm in Florida, the Clinton campaign postponed a scheduled ad buy on the Weather Channel after a former spokesman for Florida Governor Jeb Bush tweeted, quote, This is a colossally huge and unforced error by the Clinton camp, insensitive and will piss off Floridians. The campaign downplayed the move, arguing ad changes were made earlier this week and, quote, less than 1% of those changes included the Weather Channel. Hillary Clinton took time out from debate prep to attend a fundraiser in Manhattan, but otherwise she is taking two days off the trail to prepare, and in her absence she has some high-level surrogates helping fill the void. Bernie Sanders is holding four events across Michigan today targeting millennials. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Which polls show remain skeptical of Clinton. Her running mate Tim Kaine headed to Las Vegas to campaign and spoke with reporters in Philadelphia about a new ad also filling the void while Clinton is off the trail. It appeals to families using home movie footage. How do we measure greatness in America? The height of our skyscrapers? The size of our bank accounts? No. It's measured by what we do for our children. The values we pass on. Is it how much you have in here? Is it the size of a building, or is it how our kids are doing? Clinton's most visceral ads used Trump's own words, like this one about body shaming that aired on the eve of the last debate. I'd look her right in that fat, ugly face of hers. She's a slob. She ate like a pig. Today, the campaign released a digital ad focusing on African-American voters, starring the cast of the popular television show Empire. What will we tell the future generation? Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Freddie Gray, Philando Castile. Today on a conference call with reporters, campaign manager Robbie Mook called on uh, Florida Governor Rick Scott and other Florida officials to extend the registration deadline to October 11th in Florida, adding we'll get back to campaigning when it's appropriate and also accusing RNC chairman, the RNC chairman of politicizing the hurricane, Brett. We'll see what happens. Obviously, the governor's dealing with a lot of things. Jennifer Griffin, live with the Clinton campaign. Jennifer, thank you.